Hello, and welcome to My Operator Guide for Lesion. This is one of a series of short videos that will help you get the most out of each operator in Rainbow Six Siege. Lesion is a two-armor, two-speed defending operator from Hong Kong Special Duties Unit CTU. He was added to the game along with Ying during Operation Blood Orchid. Lesion is one of the best anchors in the game, and his gadget can be a literal thorn in the attacker's side, slowing them down and wasting their time while revealing their positions to attentive defenders. Lesion's unique gadget is the Goo Mine. These are uniquely deployed, as they are given to Lesion on a 30 second cooldown, with a maximum total of 8 mines available by the end of the round. This cooldown makes Lesion exponentially more useful the longer he remains alive, and further enhances his anchoring potential. Goo Mines, once deployed, are practically invisible and have a 1 meter activation radius. Once an attacker approaches, the mine will detonate, injecting them with a toxin. This will do an initial 10 damage, followed by 8 damage for every 2 seconds it remains in the attacker's leg. To remove it, they must perform an animation that renders them completely unable to use their weapons, and also causes them to look at their feet. Naturally, this leaves the affected attacker extremely vulnerable to a nearby defender. It is also worth knowing that attackers cannot sprint or plant the diffuser until they have removed the goo mine. Goo mines will put attackers in the down but not out state if their health is low enough, but will only kill outright if they are triggered by the last remaining attacker. When goo mines are placed, they will be marked in Legion's heads up display, however only Legion himself can see their location, his teammates cannot. This allows Legion to identify which goo mine has been triggered based on which icon disappears from his HUD. He can either take advantage of this information himself, or relay the intel to a nearby teammate. On the screen now is how I personally run Legion. I use his T5 SMG, which is a fairly standard defender weapon. It is accurate, has a decent fire rate, and can take the full range of SMG attachments. I use the Reflex Sight and Flash Hider for maximizing control. Legion's alternate primary weapon is the 612SD shotgun, which is identical to Ying's, but Legion's variant has an integrated suppressor, which cannot be removed. This weapon isn't particularly strong, but if you know you are going to exclusively anchor the objective in a very enclosed location, then it could be a viable choice. In addition, the suppressor could confuse the attackers during their last minute push, so this is worth considering. Legion only has access to one sidearm, the Q929 a respectable pistol that packs a decent punch. As with all pistols, I equip a muzzle brake to minimise recoil for rapid semi-auto firing. Moving on to secondary gadgets, Legion has access to both impact grenades and a deployable shield. I tend to lean towards impact grenades for their utility and flexibility, but if the objective calls for it, I will take a deployable shield, especially if I am teaming up with a frost. Both are viable options, but be careful to check what your teammates are bringing, as it is very easy to have too many impact grenades. Legion's main strength is his ability to anchor an objective and slow down a push towards the end of a round. Given that his gadgets are given to him on a timer, it is essential that Legion is kept alive as long as possible, as much like smoke, he is most effective in the closing moments of a round. This trait also makes Legion more powerful in ranked than he is in casual, because of ranked matches shorter rounds. When I am playing Legion, I like to place my goo mines in key choke points where enemies are likely to go. This includes, but is not limited to, doorways, staircases, and the center of narrow corridors. You should focus on placing the mines around the objective with the intention of slowing down the attackers and making them as vulnerable as possible when approaching the objective. When placing mines in doorways, you can either place them in the very center, which will ensure that they will trigger, but risk being easily noticed by drones. You could try placing the mines inside the doorway and a little off to the side to further conceal them, particularly from Twitch's shock drone. For corridors, I tend to place goo mines in areas where the attacker will be most vulnerable. Try to pick areas that will have high footfall but are furthest from cover. Since the affected attacker will be unable to sprint, they will need to cover a larger distance while taking damage before removing the needle, giving you more time to move in for the kill if you happen to be nearby. For staircases, the same mentality applies. If you are defending upstairs, you should place a mine at the top of the stairs so that the attacker must either go all the way down or risk pushing too close to a lurking defender. Alternatively, you could place a mine halfway up a staircase so the attacker will be caught in the middle, unable to sprint up or down to safety. If you choose to anchor with Legion, try and place as many mines as you can around the area that you are defending, so you will always be alerted to enemy presence and you won't be caught off guard. 
The sound cues and notifications will also be useful in determining where attackers are pushing from, and if Legion notices that a nearby mine has been triggered, he can quickly take down the attacker in question. You can focus on this strategy exclusively if you wish, and effectively camp a doorway or staircase and wait for the mine to trigger. Finally, Legion can be used as a roamer. He is well suited to this task as he is not a bulky three armor operator and his gadgets can be deployed to cover his back while flanking. However, he is not a silent three speed operator either, and his gadgets do make a hissing sound when deployed, which could give his position away. Additionally, as I mentioned earlier, Legion is best kept alive to be most effective, so I would only recommend roaming with Legion if you have no other roamers on your team. Legion's versatility and broad map coverage make him a very strong solo queue operator as his traps can benefit the whole team by providing intel in the form of sound cues and do not necessarily require Legion to communicate with his teammates. Legion only has one operator who can directly benefit from pairing with his gadget, and that is Frost. If Legion places a goo mine a short distance in front of one of Frost's welcome mats, the attacker that gets caught in the trap will be injured by the mat before being finished off in one fell swoop by the adjacent goo mine. This does require practice to pull off and will almost never happen, but it can be a useful way of getting an instant kill at a crucial moment. Another operator who could potentially be buffed by Legion is Smoke. If someone steps on a goo mine while inside Smoke's toxic gas, they will be unable to sprint away, meaning that they will take more damage from the gas. However, this would require either luck or extremely good communication between Legion and Smoke for this to work consistently. Legion's most obvious counter is Thatcher, whose EMP grenades will completely destroy any goo mines within their radius. This also renders their cloaking ability useless as Thatcher does not need to be able to see them to destroy them. Another strong counter is Twitch, although she must first locate the goo mines with her drone before destroying them with its taser. Additionally, IQ's electronic scanner can detect goo mines, making her more of a soft counter as she needs a direct line of sight to be able to destroy them with her pistol. As with most deployable gadgets, goo mines can be destroyed by frag grenades or explosives fired by Ash or Zephyr. It is also worth mentioning that since Legion Mines are also practically invisible to your teammates, it is very easy for Bandit or Kaid to electrify an area of reinforced wall or barbed wire close to a goo mine. If this happens, your mine will be destroyed, since like other deployable defender gadgets they are not immune to electricity. Legion is a fantastic operator to use at all skill levels, and of all the DLC operators I would recommend him as the first defender that newer players should purchase. He is effective on all objectives across all modes on all maps. Like Rook, Legion is always a solid choice for the defending team, and can be instrumental in running out the clock in the hands of a skilled player. That concludes my operator guide for Legion. I hope you learned something new, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Have fun using Legion, and remember, don't be toxic.